Thank you. Okay, cool. So we're starting off this match off with Depth and Strobix. So anyway, you were talking about the light color. I'm pretty sure he, he picks the light color so you don't know when he's invincible. Exactly. Like, That's exactly what dodge. I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. You can't tell when he's going to be invincible. That's the thing. And the thing is, is that I'm not sure if you can call a color drawn on that, but... I, I mean, it's in the game, so I don't think you can really yeah, do anything Yeah, but I about mean, it. It, it's just as bad as having Rosalina's Lumas meld in on the background. I've actually played a game much before that switched his character to his color depending on the stage. <laughs> trying to blend in with the background. Oh my god. I'm like, that's grimy. <laughs> He'd be like black on my lad, he'll be like... Oh my god. That's pretty grimy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I mean, it does make it difficult to see things, that's the thing. It does. Anyway, so Strobix playing a very strong neutral game and keeping depth on his toes, not giving him any room to breathe. And uh... Oh, he's not. Ooh. Oh. Completely duffing that f tilt. Doesn't want to deal with it. So if depth doesn't have room to charge, charge shot and Drozair, um, he definitely has a problem in the neutral game. He, see, this is where Depth wants to be. He wants to be at a distance where he can throw F tilt, has a full charge shot, and wants to throw his air. Yeah. Oh, very nice. He got that charge shot on Strobix, but... All right. Also, Depth really has to be careful with that bucket, because uh, if he gets too much of that charge shot, or too much of the charge shot in the bucket, he's going to kill immediately. Oh. And the 2-2 two -two, going to take that off the top. Takes it with the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> So yeah, Strobix is storing a very strong gameplay right now. He's playing very patiently, getting that spacing down, and Death is just having a difficult time with his spacing, actually. He's, he's very unfamiliar with the matchup, because like uh, Leo Hart was saying, these two have never played before, in my knowledge. These two. So they're probably just, I want to say maybe Death is probably just testing out how Strobix plays. We may see a different oh. gameplay from Death in game two, but we'll see. And also an interesting thing, with Game Watch's crouch, and if he shields immediately after and the projectile's in his shield, it will always perfect shield. Really? Yeah, because the shield comes up in the spot where uh, a perfect shield happens when the projectile's in your shield but not touching your model. Oh, okay. So since he's ducking like that... Wow. Yeah. The more you know. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's not as useful in this game because it doesn't reflect projectiles like it did in previous games. But uh, the more you know. Well, and that's exactly what Meek was talking about. Strobix is going to crouch a lot of those projectile options of Samus. And he has put in a lot of the projectiles in his button. No. Wow. Did he not have a jump? I guess. He missed his tether. He, like, fastball the tether and just completely got He fastball tethered, but I'm not sure if he had a jump or not. I, I wow. don't know. <laughs> I'm going to hand the mic off to GDX so I can do... Oh, no. Okay. All right, I guess I'm staying in. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I'm not handing the mic off to GDX because he doesn't want the mic. Okay. I'll finish out the set. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, so game one going to um, Strobix. And I'm surprised that Death wasn't able to make it back there. Um, I, I actually surprised that the tether missed. But other than that, we're going into game two between um, Death and Strobix. So. <laughs> He's just running it back. Hopefully he's a little more comfortable. And just a run-up grab. Don't forget to put the point counter, by the way. Oh, you are right. Multitasking is hard. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> so I think Strobix crouching is kind of making Zare pretty much useless in this matchup. Yeah, it is. Definitely. And that's kind of a depth like, oh! Oh, and he gets the nine! He gets the nine! And the time. Like, <gasps> oh, my god. The chances of him getting it on the first... On the first attempt. In, I know in previous in games match. it was a higher chance, but I think in this game it's completely random. It is random. Okay. It is. I think they actually used a, a true random distribution rather. And that's a whole conversation for another time. <laughs> anyway. Because I, I, I remember watching a past game of Strobix and he was just trying to get that. He, he kept on getting seven, six, eights, but never nine. It's so satisfying. It is satisfying. It is. So definitely he has an early lead on on Death right now, and Death definitely has to do something to take care of it. I mean, you also got to think Game Watch is the second, second, third, lightest, second character, lightest character in the game. Um, so a charge shot will probably start killing about 75, I want to say. I want to say probably 80, maybe. But regardless, um, early. <laughs> yeah, it's so early. 
I think he wants another hammer. I think he does. I think he's trying to get the setup. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, goes in for the goes in for the smash. And wow, Strobik showing a very strong game and watch play there, and takes takes the set against Dodge. Plays, plays that match really intelligently, using his crouch to his advantage to dodge his projectiles. Oh yeah, he uses crouch very well too. And uh, Keith is completely shocked at that. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hand the mic off to Keith now, so I can do this. And uh, here's.